Hi everyone, welcome back to the Bioinformatics Code channel. In today's video, we are going to look at characters. You are going to look at characters and then how to create them and then how to combine them. So that's what we are going to do today. So just stay tuned and then learn some new R commands. Okay, so let's proceed. So in R, if you want to create characters, you need to create your text and you have to place them in quotes. Okay, so here I have my double quotes. Here. I have my double quotes here. So you can choose to use double quotes or you can also choose to use single quotes like what I have here. Here I'm using a double quotes, but you can try with a single quote. You should also know that what we refer to as characters in R in some programming languages, they are referred to as strings. So in this tutorial, I'll be using the word characters and strings interchangeably. They all refer to the same thing here. So let's get started. So I'll clear the screen first and I'll proceed. So if let's say you want to create a character, then what you have to do is to put it in code. So I'll create one. So I'll just say bioinformatics. like this and then I'll hit the enter button so I have created a character now let's try another thing also here let's just type hello world this time I'll put it in single quotes okay that has also been done nicely far so I try it both double and then single. Now you also notice something when you are using R Studio and you type, let's say, a double quote, then automatically R adds the second quote for you. So if it's single, you have single. If it's double, you have double. Okay, so it makes things easier for you. Now what we did was to just create the character or the characters on the terminal. Okay, on the screen like this. It's because I'm using the interactive session. So I can just type any command and then I'll get the results once I hit the enter button. But I can also use it in bash mode. If let's say you are writing your script, you are writing your commands and you want to execute all of them at once, then that means they all have to go into a script. So in that case, you have to assign the character to a variable. So let's look at what I mean. If let's say I want to create a character, I can just say my car. Then I assign then I say white matches. So now I have created this character, I assigned it to this variable. Let's say you want to print it, you just have to print and then say my car. So I'll have my informatics displayed for me because that is what I want. Okay, now let's proceed. Let's try this also. Let's just say DNA. Let's create a DNA sequence. So I bring my codes and then I'll just say T C G A T C G A. So I'll create this as well. So now I can just print it. DNA. So it will be printed for me. So this is how we create characters in R. Now if you want to really confirm that the data you have is of the data type character, then you can say type of, and then you specify that information. So let's just use DNA. So I have character. Let's try with my car. So that has also been done nicely far. So this indicates that the data type is character. It's also possible to check the number of elements that make up a character or the length of a character. Let me put it that way. So to do that, you have to say NCAR and then you will say DNA. Let's try with DNA for example. We have eight. Let's try another one. Let's just use hello world. Okay. I'll just create another variable. So I'll just say my car two. Let me just use the hello world. And I'll say NCAR. 
my card to so i have 11 here so if i begin now then maybe seeing the 11 here will be a bit weird because when you count the letters we have 10 we have hello we have five what we also have five okay five characters here making up 10 but we have 11 this is because in r a space is also a character so we have a space here okay so the space plus the alphabet here will give us a total of 11 and that is why we have 11 here so take note of that okay so let's continue it's also possible to combine characters in r okay so in this case we will say concatenation okay so to concatenate characters so if you want to concatenate then you have to use the paste function okay so let's just say you want to combine two characters let's just create and let's just say first name let me just um, play the screen and we can do it on another one yeah so now we can continue so let's say first name we say bioinformatics let's try the second one so we have second name coach so if i want to concatenate them if i want to combine these two strings or these two characters then i'll just use the paste function so i'll just say paste and then i'll specify the character so i have first name and then i add a second name and then i'll issue this command so now i have it's displayed for me you can also assign the entire operation to a variable okay so let's say you want to concatenate then we can say let's say full name then i can say paste first name second name so now i can print so i can say print full name and i'll have them displayed for us so this is how we concatenate characters or strings in r now let's continue so with what we have here we use two characters you can also add a third one let's just try this let's say paste dna comma rna comma sequences so we can also combine them so this will give us what we have here okay so it can be two three four it's possible to combine them you also notice that when we combined we had a space character like this one here we had a space character here here we also had space characters here this and then this okay by default the paste function includes a separator and in this case it's a space character so it's possible to use another separator if let's say you want to use a comma as a separator it's possible to do that so in that situation you have to specify the separator so let's say you want to use a comma then you have to say paste let's say first name second name and then when you come here you say sep sep equals and then you specify your separator so let's say you want to use comma then you bring your quotes and then you add a separator so this becomes our separator the comma so let's issue this command or let's execute this command so now you see that we have a comma here okay so the comma here has been used to separate everything for us so that's how we use separators when combining characters in r there may be situations where you would like to combine your characters or strings but then you wouldn't want or you wouldn't want to see a separator okay you want to combine them without a separator for example let's try this let's say we have dna sequences let's say dna1 
DNA one TCDA DNA two TTCCG. Now, with what we've done, we can say paste DNA one DNA two. Okay, you have a space, but you may not want it this way. You may want to have everything merged together without any space. So it's possible to do that. So to do that, we use the function paste zero. So let me show you how it's done. We say paste zero, and then you specify the characters. So we have DNA one, DNA two. So once we do that, we will have everything concatenated for us without any separator. Let's try with bioinformatics code. You can say paste zero, and then you have first name, second name, and then we issue this command. So we have it also done nicely for us. So that's how we concatenate characters. Now in R, it's also possible to change the cases the upper case and then the lower case okay it's possible to change the character I mean, let's say you want to change this character let's say this one here let's try this let's say you want everything here to be uppercase it's possible to do that if you want everything like this one in lowercase it's also possible to do that so let's look at um, both situations so let's say you want to change this one the first name to uppercase you have to use the to upper function so you can say to upper and then you say first name so this will return everything to us in uppercase let's say to upper t c c c g a c let's try this you also have everything given to you in uppercase now what about lowercase if you want to change the case to lower then you have to use to lower here we use to upper for lower case we use to lower so if let's say you have this sequence here or character and you want to change to lower case then you can just say to lower then you specify so in this case dna1 so this will change everything to in lower case let's try also this one let's say to lower let's say hello so you also have it as lowercase so this is how we do it so this is how we create and combine strings or characters in r and also how to change the cases okay so now that you are done with this i would like you to come back next week and in next week's tutorial i'm going to show you how to print or display characters on the screen you can also contact me if you have any challenges or questions. So check the description box. You'll find some useful links also there. See you next week.